Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are starting behind the greenhouse because we are gonna be working on a couple of changes to this area this week. And here comes the tractor to help us out with our first thing. We'll see if this is gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna do, and this is why we need the tractor, because hopefully it's gonna work, we are gonna attempt to pick up this entire raised bed <laughs> with the espalier pear, and we're gonna move it. We're going to be taking the, the pear out and planting it, but we don't have an auger here until next week, and we wanna use the auger, right? I'm guessing? For the... To dig a hole to plant that? I don't know, I, I'm not sure. It might be easier to do by, by hand, I'm not sure. Possibly, I don't know. Either way, okay, so I'm gonna just kinda turn around here and show you this space. Paul and Bethany have been hard at it, clearing out like the back of the barn where we had a big pile of pots. There was a big pile of plants back here. Um, they just got that all cleared out and Chad is gonna be here later this week just to kind of smooth out this area and bring fresh gravel in. And it will go out to about where the grass starts because that is our well right there. And we're gonna use this area eventually uh, to park gators up against the back of the barn. We're gonna have an overhang built off the back. We're not even sure how that's gonna look <laughs> at this point, but that's the intention. We just wanna kind of clean it up and have it be nice and tidy. In the process, we'd like to get the pear transplanted because we've been meaning to do that the last season or two. And then we're going to move the raised beds completely out because we're gonna plant more North Pole arborvitas to stop right about where the neighbor's hedge starts. And those are also North Pole, so it'll be perfect. And that way they can have a little more privacy back here. They've got some raised beds and such, um, and it'll create a nice green screen right here. There's also two other things we're gonna be working on back here. The first thing, these trees are coming out. Uh, these are old elm trees and they're not the nice kind of elms of the type that fall apart. They're full of boar damage and they've already been falling apart. I mean, if we get up close, you can see where big branches have had to be removed and you can see one of the trunks like the entire trunks had to be removed off of that one they're just not a nice tree we had three of them on our original property when we bought it and we have had all three of those since removed and when we bought this property our neighbors right uh, right there uh, that join this property here they asked us are you going to leave those trees in or are you going to remove them because if you want to remove them that would be great uh, so they're thrilled that they're coming out and the plan is is to extend the berm just a little bit and yep. build it up so this right here the plan is to extend it not very much further than it is now but to just add more to it like bulk it up a bit chad said he's going to use the rocks as a base over here oh nice so the, those will get used and then probably the same over there those that we're going to remove that berm. Yeah, that berm will go away. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll use the rocks and then the dirt to pile over here. But yeah, we'll make it bigger and build it up a bit. And you're thinking a lane back here though yeah. too, like through here. Yeah. So yeah, the berm won't come out much further than like where it bumps out for the trees because the lane will be in between that and where our well is. That way we can start planting up the berm and we really want to focus our energy on that. Um, especially and create a beautiful backdrop both for our property and for our neighbor's property because eventually I would like to remove uh, the high tunnel from up front and put it back here somewhere but not until we have a nice screen uh, and it won't be like super close to the fence either it'll be out in the property but you'll still be able to see it so I, I think putting some pretty things out and let, letting them grow up and fill in a little bit would be nice. I'm walking toward the last thing because when natural tree is here, that's who's gonna come and take care of the trees. When they're here, they're gonna also help us get this stump out. So we're walking over to the opposite side of this property where that chicken coop was. And Paul and Bethany took that down. It took them like half a day to get, to get the whole structure and the whole area cleared out, all except for this stump, which there you know, was a tree here at one point. I thought it would be awesome to cut this stump out and use it around our pond. So natural tree is gonna come in and hopefully be able to help us get that out in a nice, <laughs> nicer way than I could attempt to do it. There's a pole here too. Interesting. I guess I've never really noticed that, but the stump's cool. And there's already a few stumps around the pond, so I thought it'd be kind of a natural to fit that in and be able to reuse it. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. It might, and which would be awesome. Well, I don't know if the tractor has enough power to lift it up, uh -huh. and I don't know if the wood, wood... Do you want the wood to... I mean, like, if I crack the wood, is that okay? Sure. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever is the easiest way to get that out of the yeah. here would be the best. Okay, like the least messy way? Yeah, the least messy way. So we're gonna attempt this <laughs> and we're going to move it close to, and I'll show you where I intend on planting it. So we're gonna try to move it over into the general location. we gave it a try ourselves. <laughs> Sometimes things are just a little bit too much. That tractor has been so, so handy, but it is slacking in a few areas, like lifting, lifting capacity. And auging. And auging, yeah. Augering. Uh, augering, is that right? I, probably. Well, in the process, nothing was broken. I forgot I had run a piece of rebar through the corners of all of these. These uh, raised beds originally came from Gardener Supply and they're cedar boards. They've lasted beautifully. Um, they have these little corner connector things that you just slide the boards right into. So it was super easy to assemble them. And I would like to be able to reuse them. You know, it would be really nice. So anyway, we'll just have to wait for Chad then to get this out of here. It's gonna be a few days though until Chad is here. So we'll need to abandon this project for now. Tree will be fine. I will run out though and show you where I intend on planting it. And then the trees, we're gonna tackle the trees. I say we like I'm gonna be involved. <laughs> I will be involved by watching. Okay, so we're right here on the east side of the orchard and we've got this part of the fence, which is six feet tall. It's blocking off, you know, tractor implements and equipment, things like that. And I thought it would be really pretty to center that espalier right here and just enjoy that interest. I think it would be really nice right there. I think it would do well and it wouldn't get so wide that we, you know, wouldn't be able to use the lane or anything like that. It's kind of the perfect scenario. And we've got a sensation honeysuckle right here, climbing rose down the way. We'll probably fill up with other vines as we go along. I'm really looking forward to it and that's where I had intended on putting it last year and it just never happened. I wanted to do it before it broke dormancy last year and then it just got too late in the season and then it was blooming all of a sudden <laughs> like things do and I just thought no I just need to leave it right where it's at. So I think this is going to be a better home for it. Okay back to those elm trees. Oh boy thread the needle here comes natural tree. The whole crew just showed up and they'll have these trees down within, what do you think, Aaron, 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah they'll have them down super fast. guys it is a new day the trees are gone we'll walk over there in just a minute uh, but Aaron is heading over here to the big stump which they were able to cut off you can see it right behind me and they ground out the area right below it so that's where it was isn't that wild 
And here's the nice stump. I'm so excited about this. And I hope it's easy to move. I've got a spot in mind by the pond. Boy, I don't know what side I like better. They're both really pretty. Oh, look at that. You mean to push it in? <laughs> oh, it's huge. That is a huge stump. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I need to run over and meet Aaron by the front of the pond. Alright, so here we are. We're by the east walkway that's going away from the pond and I always felt like, you know, there's a nice boulder here and there's so much going on around the pond that I wanted to kind of bring some of that interest, either the stump or boulders to this space. So I'm thinking Aaron might be able to sneak through this area with the tractor and maybe we can tuck that stump in like right in this space right in here or maybe even scoot it back. I don't know how hard it will be. We'll have to do it by hand if we go back there. really nice to have something like that in here. I think what I would like to do is try to push it so it's tucked in a little bit more into this Norway spruce and that way we'll have room to kind of plant around the base of it and I love that it's level. I think they were using it as a table a little bit as a table. They also had a post. <laughs> One of the posts for the structure was resting on top of it as well but we can set something on it which would be kind of fun too. Aaron went to go take the tractor back so as soon as he gets back over here We'll try to I'm going to try to shift it by myself, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, I can't even budge this thing. Dang. Oh, that might be good. Uh, that is actually wonderful. And if we can just tip up the backside and level it up a bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, it does. That looks perfect right there. Just kind of nested in and it will look more nested in once we get some more things planted around it. But I just like having something large and kind of more hardscape right here. Uh, and then we'll probably add in a couple of boulders in this area as well, just to kind of draw some of that interest down this way. Yeah, that is so pretty and it's heavy. How much do you think that weighs? Any guesses? It didn't feel like it was very heavy. I mean, what do you think, maybe like 300 pounds? Yeah, I said 250. 250, 300. Felt like a thousand pounds to me. <laughs> All right, so the last thing we're going to do today is move a honey locust tree. It's kind of a moving and tearing out sort of situation <laughs> the last couple of days. This is a honey locust, a shade master that we planted last year. Uh, and it was before we bought this property that we, and we didn't know we were going to be buying it. So we planted it here thinking, oh, that'll be beautiful to be shade over the driveway. But now to marry these two properties, to have access to the back area, we're gonna fork off of the driveway and pretty much need the lane to go right through where this honey locust is. Thankfully, it's not, you know, super mature and we should be able to dig it out. And we're gonna pop it over in this area beyond the pond along the new fence. And that way we can sculpt our new lane that will connect the two. We will still have flower bed on this side and then the lane go through and then we'll have more garden right here. So the next part's just a bunch of digging, but it's really nice to get transplanting like this done before the plants break dormancy. So usually, I mean, we move a lot of things throughout the season and as long as you keep things really well watered, they usually do okay. But we usually try to think about anything that we would possibly need to move that season or the coming season and we try to get it done early if possible.
got the locusts out. You can see the hole. And now we're heading back to where we're gonna plant it. Okay, so right along this fence line last fall, or was it winter already when the evergreen went in and things were moved around? Wasn't that like beginning of January? Yeah. Wasn't it? Was it really? I think so. Yeah, because we didn't close on this until January 1st. Yeah. It was like around that time. Right. So, you know, we put the blue spruce in and then we had the other two trees moved. So there's a heritage birch clump and there's a purple prince crab apple right here. And we intend on doing this a lot like we've started over there. It's just gonna be a lot of evergreen and different deciduous, just all mixed together. So I think we're gonna put this one because it gets quite large. I think they get what, like 35 to 40 feet tall and wide. So we are going to put it right here. <laughs> I think so. Okay. I think that'll look good. And I think we got quite a lot of the root ball. I mean, as much as you really want to carry. We couldn't carry that by hand, that's for sure. Super thankful for the tractor. Okay, so we are going to dig the hole, put some biotone in, plant the tree, and then we'll come out here with a bunch of water and just make sure it's really soaked. And there we have it, all done. I love it out here, actually. I think it's gonna be just perfect. We planted it far enough away from the fence that at maturity, it should just barely reach the fence. So we shouldn't have anything hanging over. And then we're really excited to come in with more evergreens and start filling in this area. So like we've done with pretty much everything else out here, we planted it a bit high and then brought in some bags of stuff. We had like some broken bags of raised bed mix, like the bags were torn. Uh, so we put that around the base and then we do plan on coming in and mulching this whole area so eventually it'll seem like it's just right at soil level because the mulch will be brought up to about that height but i think we got plenty of the root ball enough for it to do well i'm hopeful at least let's take a look at it from the other side hopefully we'll still be able to see it in line with everything else <laughs> oh lost my buckets oh I love the look. So we've got the blue spruce, the birch, the crab apple, which will have red leaves, and then the shade master just beyond that. Hopefully you can kind of see them all lined up. So once we add a few more evergreens, this area is gonna look done. I love it. And now this spot is free and clear. Uh, Chad is supposed to be here actually tomorrow or the next day and we're going to have the gravel put in after this is all kind of smoothed out and the gravel also put in right behind the barn. Uh, so I don't know, I feel like it's looking really good. So we'll smooth out this hole and get our straps put away of course, but I thought we would walk back here real quick and show you where the trees were taken out. I'm just going to show you guys from the side because I'm trying really hard not to film the back of our neighbor's houses. <laughs> so here's a look. You can see this space right here where we <laughs> started out this whole project It made the ruts, but this is where Chad's gonna be cleaning up. So he'll help us move the raised beds. We'll get those two planters out of the way. All of this will be smoothed out, fresh gravel, and then he'll start building up the berm. So where the berm is, like we uh, explained earlier, I think we'll widen that out and then we can start planting in this area. But having those two trees gone, is quite nice and i don't know if i mentioned this uh, already but right after the trees were removed we both aaron and i got a text from our neighbor just saying thank you <laughs> thank you for taking those out so you know not only were we getting rid of two potentially hazardous uh, and trashy trees and that they just you know limbs and seeds everywhere but it also benefited our neighbor which is great and doesn't it makes you feel like not quite as bad for taking them out and we're going back in with way more than just two trees so we will more than replace what was there so anyway guys that is it for this project i feel like it was kind of all over the place that always happens when a project spans from one day to the next but lots of progress trees coming out the stump being moved in place, the other tree being dug up, all stuff that was kind of necessary to get done in order to move forward. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it, and we will see you in the next one.